Hi everybody, I'm Sarah. I'm a wellness and empowerment coach. Check me out, sarahellawellness.com and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can check me out every Tuesday and every Friday. What if I told you today was the day that everything was going to begin to get better? What comes to mind when you think of that? You automatically think, oh yeah, right, I've had 40 years of crap, there is no way today is gonna be the day. Or does your mind think, ah, oh, isn't that a nice thought? Or what comes to mind? So I want you to become aware of the thoughts that come to mind when you think certain thoughts. So when you think of the things that you want. So say you want a really happy, healthy relationship. When you think and reflect on what having that happy, healthy relationship would look like and what that relationship, more importantly, would feel like, Pay attention to what comes to mind. Are your thoughts in alignment with what you want, with what you desire? Or are your thoughts throwing you out of that? So when you think of, um, I'd love to have financial abundance, not have to worry about paying my bills on time each month, having more than enough money. When you develop a positive mantra and you repeat that to yourself, um, what comes up? So if you say to yourself, money is an abundance, it comes so easy to me. I have more than enough money, way more than enough money. Now I got to pause and think, what comes to mind? Pay attention to the little voice inside of you that says, <coughs> or, is this a joke? Like, or, are we joking here? Because it's that little voice inside of you that's constantly telling you that it's not going to work. It never works. You're not going to feel good. You never feel good. It's that little voice that's holding you back from greatness. So when we become aware of that nasty little programmed voice we have inside of ourselves, we can learn to detach from it. When we become aware of those habitual thought patterns as they come up, we don't have to believe everything we hear. Just like we don't believe everything we hear out in our world, right? You don't listen to everything that everybody says about the world and your, the way you are and the way they are, you don't necessarily believe everything you say. So you don't necessarily need to believe every thought that comes to mind either. All too often we're so identified with that voice in our heads. We're so identified with the story that our minds are telling us about what we're capable of, what we're not capable of, what we're worthy of, what we're not worthy of, what's gonna happen and what's not going to happen. We get so caught up in that. We forget that that doesn't ultimately determine anything. You can hear the voice inside your head that says, this isn't gonna work. And you can still make it work. You can overpower that voice. You can begin to create a new voice. So every time you have a thought that comes up that says, this isn't gonna work, you can develop a positive mantra to overcome that. So in, if, if the negative thought that often comes to mind is this isn't gonna work, what you can develop is a mantra that says, this is effortless. Everything is working out perfectly. Everything is so easy and working out so well. Now it might seem fake at first, but as the old mantra says, fake it till you make it. And it's true, you know, the first time I was told about the power of positive thinking, many years ago, I was so frustrated. I was in such a negative place and such an anxious place that to be told that, oh, we're going to teach you how to be positive, how to talk positively to yourself seemed like a complete crock of shit. But the reality is, it's amazing. It's amazing the power we really have within us. And the power is in our thoughts, it's in our words, and it's in our emotions. So you can develop a new voice in your head. You can stop associating so strongly with every thought that comes to mind. You can recognize it for what it is, jargon you've learned from the past, crap you've learned from the past, crap you shouldn't have held on to, but you did because you didn't know any better. Your voice inside your head is not you. It does not need to define you. It does not need to limit you. You can begin to create a new voice. You begin to tell yourself what you need to hear starting today. Thank you so much for checking me out. I'm Sarah. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. Bye.